welcome back now again just a short video i've been ordering a lot of uh, dashboards really well the instrument clusters really just to see if it's definitely the the cluster i'm i'm nine i'm 100 percent sure it is but anyway i'm open to be pleasantly surprised i've received the last one i'm ordering um if this doesn't show me my fuel gauge i already know i'm doubly confirming that there's an, either an issue in the wiring which is fine because the van is going to the mechanic this evening today being monday the 19th of july and i should be getting it back sometime next week i don't need it for the rest of the week so it's not a biggie so i'm going to swap it in i'll take you along again for the journey uh, i know it's not going to work no through, no through no fault of this dashboard at all i'm just curious it's here it's in my hand if it doesn't do anything then i'm not blaming the dashboard i'm going to stick this on ebay uh, along with the other one that i received as well um so let, let's just let's just do it you know you know when you get a when you get a fault and you just think oh, i wish i could fix it myself and I seriously can't because again it's either the sensors and I have to drop the fuel tank so we can get the fuel sensor rod in there or there's an engine coolant sensor needs swapped out and, and to be honest they're just a little bit beyond my skill set uh, and I don't have the equipment and I'm not spending a fortune where I can just take it to a guy and pay him and he's already invested in all that gear but a dashboard I can swap out and it's very easy it's a little bit time consuming but it's easy it's doable so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so i do it. and if it works whoo i can cancel the mechanic but i know i've got the mechanic in about an hour's time yeah in about an hour i'll be leaving here to drop the van off so let's do this Oh, I previously called this uh, an IKEA tool set. It's actually not. It's a Tesco's one, and I bought it just to keep in my old motorhome um, as, as just you know the basics. But actually, I've I've really utilised this, and it saves me running backwards and forwards to the garage to get all my tools. So today, I'm going to use my standing knife just to open the packaging. I'm going to use this to get the side clips out from the either side of the dashboard and I'm going to use my extension pole just to help me get in down the sides because it's really helpful and a long Phillips screwdriver head to go underneath here because it's the only way I can get it's the only screw that fits this together and I haven't really secured the two screws here because as you'll see they're still sitting I didn't put them in because I knew this, this uh, dashboard was coming. Right, so without much further ado, let's get this puppy opened. And I like to keep the bubble wrap because uh, I'm going to use it waste not, want not. Let's just follow the seam. guys on Facebook and the groups thank you for really supporting me with these selling them um, I've literally just come off Facebook I'm not using it anymore you'll find me on Instagram oh that is clean and tidy guys oh, nice Oh, it's actually got less miles than mine. Mine says 142, this is 138. And the screen is in really good condition. It just needs a bit of a wipe down. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. So thanks for sending that across. Right, let's get this dashboard off. So under here, I have one screw that's long enough to reach. There we go, that took like no time get that off. Should be... Just 
flip it as a side. Okay, still holding on. Let's see. See the screw start to reveal itself in there. There is an knack to it. Sort of basically suss that out. Remember my little strip? And drill. In reverse. Alright, this is fiddly as hell. I just want to get into a screw in there. Believe it or not. Easier to get them out. <laughs> Track that. Pull the screw. around a little bit pull off that tip the watch off yeah I'm in there I'm just gonna take off the bolometer make fat arms in there that's off and click okay my one Now I'm not going to put the odometer mileage thing on it, I'm just going to plug the electrics in and see what she says. Okay. Let's just have a sitting. Ignition. And just give her a minute. I feel like I want to be Yuri Geller or something. Move these dials. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. There's no point in borrowing you. Uh, see you in a second. Ooh, twat. Fucking spiders. The dashboard was in for about 20 minutes. Had the engine running, didn't do anything. Turned the engine off, left the ignition light off for a bit. Oh, bloody spiders. They always get in, don't they, the spiders? They always get in and you get in your van one day and you've got a little crisp little spider web sitting. There you are. No, I'm sorry, but no. I've just relined all this. No, I'm not having it. Just relined it. Handles are all in. Everything. Sun visor's done. Even put my car stereo microphone on. Just glued on. I was going to just screw it in, but it's too much hassle. But uh, yeah, so 110% confirmed now. Not the fault of this dashboard. I'm sure this is 100% and it will be on eBay quite soon. Got a lot of stuff to go on eBay. If anybody's interested in the original lights and indicators, the orange ones, I'll even throw in a pair of the bulbs I took out of it. A lot of stuff. Um, yeah. I'll put a link in the description to my eBay listing shop. So, yeah. It's uh, it's it's gonna go to the mechanic um, just as soon as the wife's available to pick me up from there. 
he's going to work on it tomorrow. Just frustrating, really. Again, as I said, it's just something you think you can fix yourself. A quick swap out. <laughs> Been the bane of my life. I drove for a good couple of hours. And I don't know, you probably don't know the area anyway, but here in Northern Ireland, we have something called the Glenshane Pass, which is a quite a mountain to get up. Um, and I've had motorhomes in the past, quite big, three tonners. And I used the last motorhome I had, it could only get up that mountain about 20 mile an hour in second gear. And you didn't really rev the crap out of it, you couldn't. And then you just, you're, you're half watching the traffic come past and you're half watching your fuel, like your temperature gauge go up a bit. And then you get to the top and you pull her in for half an hour, 10 minutes, just enough to get her back to normal. And then you go wee all the way down the other side and it's grand because you're building up enough speed there to cool the radiator down using the air. This is a 2.4 diesel. This struggles. Uh, I use third gear and I get about 35 to 40 miles an hour switching between. There is a little bit of a uh, sort of a not not so steep area and then you get up to fourth gear and you can get it up to about 42, 43 and then you, it goes up again, the incline goes up again. So then you drop down to third and you just don't rub the, rub the crap out of it. So that's been my worry, how would this do? Uh, added to the fact that I went to Ikea on Saturday to pick about pick up about half a ton's worth of furniture because my wife's having a moment in the house, decorating the bedroom, the kitchen, the hall. Uh, all our bedroom furniture is half sold and half in the living room. Clothes are everywhere. I've got I'm basically living out of a bag at the minute, trying to find stuff. The bed's gotta come out, the floors are gonna be lit. Oh, it's just horrendous. So IKEA full. Thankfully, I haven't started the rear conversion yet, merely the installation, which reminds me, I've got this uh, deadening board things uh, to go over the wheel arches, so that's next on the list when I get this van back from the mechanic. And hopefully, I've got a cabinet maker who's going to help me out with the cabinetry um, just to speed up the process, really, because. I'd make a hames of it and it look terrible and I don't really want to cover up all my mistakes with uh, pallet boards. It's just not my thing. I want it nice and crisp and clean and looking. Anyway, that's an update on uh, the dashboard, the fuel gauge issue. Uh, I may have mentioned it recently on my Instagram, which is uh, rookie bwt 4 Again, link in the description. So if uh, you want to keep following this journey, it'd be really appreciated. Have you had any issues with your dashboard? How did you resolve them? I know about the six, uh, uh, six solder points. I already had that done on one of the dashboards. Um, was it wiring in your case? Was it just the sensor relays? I'd really love to know. Um, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any feedback, anything you want to see me doing, anything you recommend me doing on this build, uh, I'm open to suggestions, really am, really am. Um, I'm a rookie at this. It's, this is the biggest thing I've ever really taken on. Um, and now work's starting to pick up again, so it's going to be hopefully evenings and weekends. So I'll be following what you say. If you've got any channel recommendations, I'll certainly make a list on those as well. So until next time, thanks for following. Don't forget, like and subscribe, hit the bell for the next one. They come out every Sunday. That's my plan anyway. It'll be released on Sunday around 12 o'clock. Thanks for watching. See you next time.